Gentlemen, a, a hearty congratulations on your award, and this is becoming something of a habit for you. No, not a habit, it's still an honour. I think, especially in this case, we got uh, we got uh, the award with three uh, of us, uh, our clients, uh, Mask and uh, Deep Ocean and ourselves. And I'm very, very uh, proud uh, on this award again. Perhaps uh, tell us a little bit more about the project. Yeah, so for me, this is uh, one of the interesting projects where you actually get to combine the strength of the companies from designing to the ones to own the project and for us that operate and own the vessel. Um, and so very early on in the process, we actually combined the forces and set together the project team of very talented engineers, operators and technicians to try to define what the success of the project was and then sort of build from there. Um, and it was extremely productive and challenging at times, uh, but we are extremely proud of the end result. And of course, in the citation, you were commended for the environmental benchmarks and the performance benchmarks of this vessel. Yes, now I think Mask uh, and also Deep Ocean they were challenging us as a shipyard, especially uh, on our HSE uh, uh, management. We have been uh, challenging, and I think we have learned also quite a lot from our clients. But I think especially the cooperation to, uh, to make it a top product uh, was, uh, was extremely uh, uh, positive and, and cooperative. And we are very glad that uh, this ship has, is performing so well. And I hope that uh, our clients can make good money with it. And uh, we also made a small uh, amount of profit on it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and of course, neither of you are, are gentlemen to stand still. So what next? Yeah, so for, for Mercer Supply Service, this is exactly the avenue that we think we need to pursue. The um, cost cutting is, of course, prudent in a time like this, but it is actually a value creation that will in make us here in 20 years. So, so we need to figure out a way to jointly focus on value creation. And I think the, the area of e era of where you do it in silos is over. So these are the sort of projects that we will endeavor to find, where we have a customer who has a project, we can bring in the design specialist and where we can actually build from there. And how about for yourself, what next? Yeah, of course, on this time, the oil and gas market is, is very slow, so we uh, concentrate a little bit on the, uh, on the uh, renewable market, uh, especially wind farms at sea, like this vessel is used for mostly. And we have tried to design standard platforms, uh, of which we think that it is a, a, a good business model that you build uh, standard platforms, which you customize together with your client for their use. And then I think we are more effective uh, in faster uh, production, better, I think in the end a better product and also a cheaper product.